Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Aging Happily with Hilda. Are you one of those planning or wishing to keep your aging loved ones or your parents in the comfort of their homes for as long as possible? If that is you, please watch this video till the end because there are beautiful tips I'm going to be sharing that will help you to achieve this goal. And before I get into it proper, I just wish to seize this opportunity to thank all my viewers, all those who have been subscribing, sharing, and giving those likes, and most especially, leaving those beautiful comments. They are actually driving me. Thank you, and keep them coming. If this is your first time to this channel, please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to tell how I'm doing or what you think about the video in the comment section below. Yes, and what can you do to keep your aging loved ones in the comfort of their homes for as long as possible? Most people, if not all, they always say they would like to keep their aging loved ones in their homes when they are getting older. That's beautiful, really nice. Why? Because that's where they have been building those memories and this is just a time for them to cherish them. And so it's really a good thing to keep them at home as long as it is safe for everyone involved. There's one thing I want to point out here. Caring for a senior loved one is not that as easy. It's one of the toughest and most stressful job that you ever think of. Yes, believe me or not, it's never easy looking after an aging parent or aging loved one. That's why you see most family caregivers complain of burnout. They are being stressed out all the time. Depression is setting in all the time. And really they don't have time for themselves. If you are able to actually maintain your health and get some help, it's still a possibility for you to keep that aging loved one at home for as long as you want. It all depends on you, how you want to go about it. And that's why I'm here today to share you those tips that will help you keep them where they like to be as they grow older. The first thing that you want to consider is to understand how much care they need. If you know, take into consideration list of their daily, weekly, monthly activities. It's actually going to give you, a, it's a guide for you to know exactly what or how much care they need. And this starts with a kind of assessment. You want to be patient with them for some few weeks and actually observe what they can do to evaluate their level, their strength level. See what they can do and what they can't do. And you want to consider the times of the day. Are they being energized in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening? You want to consider all those things. And this is actually going to be a great way for you to see how much more you can add to what they can do. That way you can keep them as long as you want. Also be realistic about what you yourself can provide. Remember you are caring or looking after someone who is already vulnerable. You want to consider your health condition. You want to look into yourself. Be honest to yourself, to assess yourself. Are you able to give the best to your aging loved one as you keep them home? If no, that's something that will help you to know exactly where to go, where you can get help. That way, to be able to continue to still keep your mom or dad at home. If you are not healthy, you can't give your best. You will not be able to add that quality of life that you want to add to that aging loved one. The holistic care will be lacking and that's what they need. So try to examine your own self to make sure you are capable, you are fit to do the job. And also you want to get help with caregiving. There are so many ways to do this, even through respite care. This is going to reduce your stress level. You are going to take the regular, the much needed time for yourself. It's going to reduce that stress. If you get somebody for respite care, in-home caregiver for respite care, you are able to have some days, weeks for yourself 
to go regain your energy and strength and come back fully energized, energized and happy to look after your parents at home. That way, you can be happy that you can keep them for as long as you want. Also, you want to share your caregiving responsibility. Remember, you are not alone in this. You have other siblings that can step in to help you once in a while, especially if you live close by. Just think of it this way. You can take your mom or dad for two weeks and then try to send them to, your own, to the other sibling for some time as well. That way you just have some time for yourself. We have other family members who are around. Invite them for sleepover, just a weekend for somebody to give that shower, to feed them, to transfer them. Those are those daily routines that you have been doing that is keeping you down, that is stressing you up. But if you get somebody to step in just for two days, it's going to help you psychologically and make you feel happy to continue to keep them where they want to be. It is very, very, very important. It's not something that one person can do. You try to share that responsibility. There's something that I can't emphasize enough. This will be a topic for another day, but I would like to just hint it here. Planning. There's nothing beautiful, as beautiful as planning for your aging parents. Keep in mind, especially when they are still mentally good, that mental capacity is still there. The memory is still good that you can sit and chit chat with them. Know what they like. It's very important. That's the way you are actually adding value to them because knowing that somebody will love to stay in the comfort of their home no matter how they age is very important. And it's actually liberating you from that stress of thinking when that time comes, like, oh, where will mom really love to be? Why don't you have that conversation with that aging loved one now? That the memory is still intact. As I mentioned, this is something I'll get into a different day. And yes, I would like you to consider all these tips. And if this was of value, which I believe, please don't forget to leave your comments about this video in the comment section. And I thank you again for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Remember, love yourself and embrace aging every day. Thank you so much. Bye for now.